Hello and welcome to sunny Berlin. While everyone is on their way to work, I'm standing here outside the Berlin Congress Center, where this year the Smart Manufacturing Summit 2020 is taking place. Um, not only that, there is also Intercon Industry of Things World and Smart Supply Chain. So we want to find out uh, of industry experts where they see the future of their industry in terms of technology, in terms of digitalization. Um, this has been a crazy year for everyone not just manufacturers and uh, the industry, but also for event organizers. So, uh, we will be wearing masks, there will be social distancing and other hygiene requirements to take care of. So everything is quite new, it's quite exciting, I'm very much looking forward to it. So let's head inside and see what people have to say. I'm here with Heiko Witte. Business Development Manager for Digital Solutions at Rolls-Royce Deutschland GmbH. Hello Heike, welcome to the event. Uh, what do you think so far of this event? Well, I'm, I'm not the first time here. I've, I've been here last year for a presentation. It's great to be here again, to have a physical event. And I think it's a showcase of very different presentations of uh, yeah, IoT um, as well as uh, industrial technology applications. So, very interesting and very good uh, high-profile presentation. Last year um, there was uh, no sense of urgency in the sense that we have it this year. Um, strategies were being made with uh, perhaps a longer time horizon. Um, how do you see 2020 impacting uh, the digitalization strategy at Rolls-Royce? So 2020 is a big disruptor because our business is very much disrupted. So that will accelerate the implementation of uh, digital ideas, digital transformation it will have to, otherwise we don't have a chance in the future. So it's really, now there is a big sense of urgency that actually for anything we want to bring out to the market in the future, we have to embrace digitization as a key concept. You mentioned in your speech today um, that the concept of digital transformation has to include um, the workforce, it has to include many different aspects and it um, has to ha bring with it a digital culture. Can you explain a little bit how that looks like in practice? Well, how it looks in practice is first of all that people stop thinking in silos and technical silos and functional silos, but come together in cross-functional teams. And second, to look at data, because the data doesn't, uh, um, yeah, doesn't work in a kind of a traditional product development process, but more in a more agile way which people need to encompass. So more agility in the product development, more focus on data, how to bring data together, and uh, more focus on actually delivering something in a digital way, value in a digital way, uh, tailored to any kind of the solutions we want to build on. So not only thinking about physical products, but what is the digital format we, uh, we can embrace to do that in the future. To explore these formats, you've partnered up with um, different um, institutions, uh, also the Fraunhofer Institute for Product and Design Development. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your cooperation and uh, how that has helped you embrace this digital transformation? Yeah, we, we are an aerospace company, so we don't have all the uh, digital uh, capabilities in-house, so therefore we partner with very capable partners, uh, specifically in this field of design uh, and connecting data between design and manufacturing. So this is how we started partnering with the Fraunhofer, the Fraunhofer IPK in Berlin, uh, to help us on the journey to deliver solutions which, tailor, which are tailored towards our, uh, our environment. I found it very inspiring that you use digital twin, you're looking at data mesh, these are state-of-the-art technologies. And it's, it's an inspiring uh, digital transformation uh, story. Um, where do you see it heading in the near future? So in the near future, I think especially for our new product developments, we're going to focus really on a digital parent concept. So having a digital representation of whatever we're going to build physically, having that beforehand and thinking about what is the most tailored and best solution for the market we can make out of this. So this is, I think, the near-term thinking will need to shift into this direction, whilst uh, more traditional product development probably takes a little bit of the backseat at this uh, point right now. Mm -hmm. 